Guys, I've had the worst morning. So I've been using a Keurig in the morning for the last few months because I've just been lazy. And this morning I decided, let's go for the AeroPress. Let's try something different. Let's make real coffee. Mistake number one, I'm pouring in the water to like the top shaft and the entire thing falls over. Coffee, hot water, everywhere, all over the stove, in the oven, on the floor. I have to spend 20 minutes cleaning it up. Decide to give it a second chance. Put the water in, let it brew. As I'm pushing down the top, the filter comes off. Ended up going with the Keurig, as I should have done since the beginning. Usually this would not be such a big deal, but I have an appointment this morning, so I had to get ready. And as I'm doing my normal makeup routine, my left eye starts watering and burning. No warning, just one minute I'm existing, and the next I am half blind. But you know, shake it off. So I get in the car, and I look down at the fuel gauge. It's empty, and I'm sitting in the middle of city traffic. I still have five minutes to go. <sighs> I'm praying that I'm gonna make it. Eventually I do. I don't know if I'll make it to the gas station after this, but you know, that's a problem for future Anna to figure out. I'm going to the dermatologist right now. They have like a parking garage here and I go in through like this narrow alley to get into the parking garage and of course it's closed. There was no sign out front. So I have to back up like a hundred feet in a seven seater I found street parking and I am probably going to be late now because I've been talking to this camera and complaining instead of actually going to do my adult responsibilities. So let's go and I'll continue this conversation after. At least we get a nice view. Okay, we're back. So I had to go see the dermatologist this morning. No, I'm not getting Botox. I get a lot of questions about this scar here. It's a keloid. Um, no, I don't know how I got it. I got it when I was like 12 years old and it grew slowly over time. It sounds bizarre, but it's true. And I have to get steroid injections for it, which are about as fun as having a cat claw your eyes out. So I was really nervous for this appointment because this is actually a new doctor I was going to and you never really know how gentle of a hand they're gonna have, but she was fine. Unfortunately, I also do have like a weird pimple thing that was also growing. So she biopsied it, which means she just like shaved it off. So we'll find out what that is soon. Hopefully nothing terrible. But yeah, in general, it's not a great start to the week so far. I guess uh, Mercury is in retrograde or Jupiter's exploding or whatever it is that people say. Uh, okay. We're not gonna let this get us down. We're gonna have a great day. On the agenda, we are finish our appointment. We are gonna go home, do some scripting. Then later gotta go to the gym, do some filming for combat culture, and try not to have anything else terrible happen. Oh, also we have to get gas. Very important. We made it. Being at it already had my tarot red Things are looking up for me, that's what my tarot said Been pumping out pheromones and wearing red Young Jerry Lawler, a king, but they're not aware of it $40 to show money, that's what they stole from me Blow it all bone, then guess I roll funny Go find me a snow bunny Ask if this cold world's making the nose runny She melted I wear a <laughs> So this is why I make Albi lunch and dinner every day. He tried to make dumplings and they're burnt. And he also made ramen and he messed up the first pack of ramen. <laughs> so he's uh, reverted to easier dry ramen. It's okay, I should have just made lunch for you today. Mosi, 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 mosi. Yo, Alexa, I'm leaving. Alexa, I'm leaving. I straight up forgot that I was still wearing slippers. shorts right now it is freaking cold what are you talking about it's like 75 outside Ugh. no tolerance for the weather 
Look at this neighborhood. Got everything in the world. You got the water, got the trees, balmy 51 degrees, <laughs> 40 miles per hour wind. Mmm, <laughs> lovely. I love San Francisco. I love it. Shrimp taco and Iberia tacos. Iberia. Good morning. So I used one of those silk wrap things for the first time last night and now is the moment of truth. Going all so far. Not bad for a first try, honestly. I think the curls in my bangs will probably relax a little bit in like an hour. You can see I didn't keep the ends here inside the curling and it looks kind of funky. So I just gotta watch out for that next time. I've done sock curls before, which is why I wanted to test this one out. And the sock curls usually work pretty well, but you can only really put it up to like here. And I want the curls to be a little bit higher. But yeah, not too shabby for a first try. So I actually have some really exciting news to share, but first we're gonna make lunch because I am very hungry. So I'm making myself good old fashioned salad. And I picked up some of this honey smoked salmon. <laughs> So confused at who designed this. Like, is this supposed to be upside down? A good homemade salad hits every time. Okay, so a little life update. I'm no longer unemployed. I got a new job. And tomorrow is my official start date. So this means I'm officially giving up my dream of becoming a permanent stay-at-home girlfriend. Kidding, kidding. But this does bring me to my second update, which is... We're moving back to New York! Yeah, in a couple weeks, we're gonna be back in New York City, baby. I have been feeling a lot of anxiety around this new chapter. Mm. I mean, part of it is that I am working again full time for the first time in literally a year. I mean, tomorrow is going to be the anniversary of the day I was laid off from my old job. And I don't know if I remember how to work. So I guess I'm just facing a little bit of imposter syndrome right now. And I think there's a part of me that's a little worried that moving back to New York might be a mistake. Or mistake's kind of a strong word, but maybe just not the best choice for me. I mean, I am 30 now and I keep wondering if it would be more responsible to just keep living back home in California, save money to like buy a house one day, or or, you know, I love traveling. I love living abroad and spending extensive time in other countries. So would it be better to just use that money that I would be spending on an exorbitant amount of rent on actually traveling and being able to see places while I still can? I don't know. You know, my last year in the city was wonderful in so many ways, but there were definitely a lot of ups and downs. It was quite turbulent and I'm worried what if it doesn't live up to expectations. I'm also a little bit anxious because life has honestly been pretty good lately and I've always had this issue where when things are going well, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop because historically it always does. And just after the last few years of like unexpected issues and healing and just life upending me out of nowhere, I'm actually doing well. I'm content. And for the first time in many years, probably since high school, I have gone an entire year without a depressive episode, which is wild. But I'm trying to remind myself that life can be good forever. It's totally possible. And even if it's not, being anxious and worrying about what's gonna happen in the future is not going to prevent it from happening. And you just gotta take life one day at a time either way. But anyway, thanks for sticking around. And I guess this is the end of my very short unemployment diaries on YouTube. Next will be a moving series to New York. So stick around for that, should be a good time. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Bye.